Hey everybody, Steam Genie here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Chewy. And just like that, I happen to have found the Globo that I needed. I literally have not even moved from the last episode. I'm still in the exact same playthrough. There is just a Globo underneath Wumba's Wigwam. That is exactly where I'm at at the moment. I am at Wumba's Wigwam, so we're gonna go ahead and just give it to her. All I did was swim to Wumba, and I'm just like, you know what, like, maybe it's over there somewhere, it's still the beginning of the game, it shouldn't be this complicated, and that's exactly what happened, so I'm pretty happy about that. You have Globo, want to give to Humba? I thought it was Wumba. Is it Wumba Humba? Magic ready, jump in Wumba pool. Yeah, I, I got you. So now that we can jump in Wumba's pool, we're gonna turn into a submarine. And the submarine is going to give us the ability that we need to go into the deeper part of the ocean and defeating Lord Wu Fok Fok that much easier. And like I said, there's three other eggs, or three other eggs, there's three other jiggies that we can't get, which is hatching the turtle egg, uh, taking care of the sewage water, and one more I, I can't remember at the moment. Um, oh right, the, the smuggler's shit. It's just so, so easily forgettable, like... That's when you know, like, a lot of these jiggies really were just meant for adults. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Like, Wumba's fucking wigwam underwater, like, Christ to the all-fucking-mighty. You know, what I want to know is, why aren't there teleporters inside of both Mumbo and Wumba's freaking areas? I mean, wouldn't that have been convenient? Wouldn't that have just made sense? You know, because then I could just teleport, you know? Alright, so now that we're a submarine... It's going to make fighting Lord Wu Fok Fok that much easier because instead of using eggs and getting low on eggs and having to go into the corners and also just the asininely terrible controls of the swimming capabilities in the Banjo-Tooie game as Kazooie and Banjo, this just makes it so much easier because all you have to do is hold down A to move. You don't have to constantly push A to jerk like Banjo and Kazooie forward. But uh, be careful using this as it's going to be a little difficult, so... Yeah, see, as the town center, we can't, we can't get there. But we also wouldn't have accessibility to the deeper part of the ocean without hitting the warp. Because you have to go up the stairs to get to the deeper part of the ocean. So everything I did is pretty much relevant in terms of the playthrough. Once we're done with this, we're done with Jolly Roger's Lagoon. For now. We have to come back and get those three jiggies, but we're done. We don't have to do anything. So I'm not going to fight Lord Wu Fok Fok yet. Because I'm still not mentally prepared for that battle. I want to do it last, like I said. But we're going to go to the deeper part of the ocean as a submarine. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points and I might give you a prize. Do you need instructions? No. Because it's the same shit over and over again. I even like Grunty better in this game. Decaying and good <laughs> deathly. Wait, what are the rules again? Oh, we have to get more than 60? Alright, um, then I'm not, I'm not even gonna worry about... I'm just only going for the blue ones. The blue ones and the green ones. I am, I'm not worrying about the red ones, unless if they just happen to be in my line of sight. Like, like so. Okay. God, this is so terrible if you have, like, wrist pain or carpal tunnel syndrome or something. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't, uh, like midway through it, like your brain just gets tired. You're like, okay. You're like, no, 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 no. You need to go. No, fuck the red ones. Get the green ones. 57, 57, 57, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, yes, yes, yes. Suck my dick. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, at least we got the jiggy we needed. I'm surprised that that happened so fast. That was like three minutes. Now, mind you, I've never actually done this before as a kid. I'm surprised that this is like the deep ocean. You know, and like Banjo just doesn't have access to this. Like the deep, deep caverns. Like, yeah, it's like we're so below water pressure, it's insane. No, I do not want to play again. Don't Don't ask me to do it. Oh, what? And I just gotta leave? Like, this is only, like, a minigame thing? Oh, what the hell? That sucks. Nah, but that's crazy. Like, just seeing the dark over there, like... That you only have access to it as a submarine. That's really crazy. Alright, Lord Wu Fok Fok time. 
Back again? Don't you know who I am? I'm Lord Wu Fuck Fuck, and I'm going to have to destroy you. Well, at least this battle's much easier now. All right, so. Whoa, I feel like the torpedoes are even slightly more direct. And we're faster, so we don't even gotta worry about, like, nothing. I like how IGN is like, Lord Wu Fuck Fuck is blind as a bat. It's like, well, what they don't tell you is when he opens up his eyes. My precious boils. Why are your boils so precious? I tell you, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how confident I feel right now compared to like my last playthrough of this yesterday. Like, that was a fat margarita I had, let me tell you. Oh, nice. That was a fat margarita. Like, it was just huge. It wasn't like a little like you know, like, oh, uh, like, let me have, like, a little, like, like, Brian's, like, little glass. Like, it was just a huge glass. Like, I honestly was not expecting that. And we're doing this with ease now, man. This would have taken me forever to do as Banjo and Kazooie. Let me tell you, I definitely wouldn't be getting these double shots on him. No wonder why they, they made him harder, you know? Because it's like, doing that as Banjo and Kazooie, you're like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, this isn't over. There's more, but doing it as a submarine, it's like, oh, hell yeah. Whoa! Where's the boil? Where's the boil? Hey, yo, where's my man's decaying skin right now? Where's the boil? I don't see it. You see it underneath him? Is it ever underneath? It's gotta be on top. He's a disgusting little scaly fish. Whoa. Whoa. Where's the boil? Is it on his lip? I think it's on his lip. I'm glad your health doesn't change as a submarine. Like it gets like less or something. Bro. Oh, it's right there? One more, one more. Alright, maybe I should inspect his body first before I do anything. Nice. Open those damn eyes. Have you no sympathy hitting a poor blind fish? Time I opened my eyes to see what I'm doing. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. That's how I fucking feel. Where are your boils? Ah, oh, avoid those bubbles. That's that's a problem. So yeah, so now we have three projectiles we need to get away from now. Uh, bubbles and that shit. Okay, so yeah, why don't we just let that run its course? Uh, now we just have to do this all over again. I hope we don't have to do this again, because that would really suck if we had to do this three times. I don't see a boil on the right side, so I'm going to stay on the left. That was a pretty cool shot. I don't see a boil there either. I don't see a boil there either. What's up? I, I don't see these boils. Oh, 
Uh, why doesn't he have any freaking boils, man? Do I have to hit him in the eyes? Ugh, please, not my eyes! Okay. I was wholly confused for a little bit. I'm like, eh. He's gotta hit his eyes, and then he's gonna fire projectiles. Get the hell out of there! Did it three times, huh? Nice! No! Oh, that was luck, huh? Alright, so you've got to hit him in the eyes after you've gotten his boils. I can't imagine having done this as frickin' Banjo, I tell ya. He just goes back and forth, like what else is he gonna do, right? I'm surprised he wasn't in the deep sea and the, uh, the minigame was in the locker. But I guess they thought it'd be funnier to have him in Davy Jones' locker. Than like to have him in the deep sea. Might have been too cryptic or something. Oh, shit. Curses! Things seem to have gone belly up. 100 years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. Alright. To be quite frank, I think I fought quite well. I mean, you did. You weren't a bad fighter, Lord Wu Fok Fok. I genuinely appreciated you. <laughs> All right, so that I think we're done, right? We got seven jiggies. Excuse me. Wait, what? That's right. We we didn't get the. You know, come to think of it, I don't even think I grabbed the Jiggy from the UFO. Stop that, you scumbags. I know your father? Cease firing. I used to be a hero, didn't you know? Where's my Jiggy, you asshole? Hey! Where's my freaking Jiggy, man? Ugh. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see that. I know your father. What the hell was that about? I mean, I guess... They are old, right? Sorry, folks. I completely uh, missed where that jiggy was. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, all right, so let's let's go back to Wumba and change into that because we need to we need to get that jiggy from the deep sea floor. Yeah, we want to go to Atlantis. So I think I brought a pretty concise playthrough of Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Uh, I think it's pretty amazing from my perspective that I was even able to get through this level. Like, I gotta say, you know, like, when I was a kid, I just had no idea, like, what to do. I was just more enamored with the fact that it's, like, uh, 3D. But it's, like, you know, every game is, like, what you make of it. You know, it's, like, how you play the character and shit. That's, like, that's on you. Yeah, but this is also why Wumba's Wigwam has to be in the water. It's, like, or else, like, the submarine, like, the whole thing is, like, that you're a submarine. If you can't go in the water, you know, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a submarine and then, like, go to Wumba's Wigwam. Like, it has to be slightly underwater a bit.
I just really wish there was a teleporter here, you know? That would have just made my life so much easier. Like, teleport from here to Mumbo or, like, where the turtles are. That, that would just be freaking amazing. Because it's like, what do I got to do now? You know, Wumbo's wigwam is the only freaking thing in here. So it's like, once I'm done with that, I now have to then swim back to Atlantis to teleport. I think that's a little cheap. A little rudimentary, if I do say so myself. A little shitty. I wonder if I'm gonna get this done quicker than Banjo-Kazooie, or if I'm gonna have, like, slightly more parts than it, because this game is supposed to be bigger and far more extensive than its counterpart. So I wonder if, like, I'm, I'm finishing it quicker than need be. Whoops. Choose a destination. Hmm. Town center. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is not where I want to be. I don't know where my head is right now, man. I tell you, I'm just like... I just did this entire level in the last episode, and I guess I am a little tired. It's 1 p.m. You know, I probably should be doing something else, but I'm doing this. Uh, I don't know how, how much we're into the video. I think it's like roughly 15 minutes, but we're done with Jolly Rogers Lagoon for now. We're going to have to come back and get those three jiggies, and then we're officially done. I'm shocked I have all 100 notes. Like, I, I can't believe I did that. I thought this level was going to be brutal. I mean, especially when I started this episode yesterday, I had no idea what I was doing, but I kind of just breezed through it just now, just then, you know? So yeah, I didn't grab this Jiggy. And that brings us seven Jiggies. We are done with Jolly Rogers Lagoon for now. Let's go on ahead back to... What's his name? Lord freaking Jiggy Wiggy. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to show me, like, backtracking all the way there, so I'm just going to cut right now to the temple. And I will see y'all there. And we're back here at Isle of Hags, where we only needed 20 jiggies, but we have 37. I swear, I watched somebody beat this game with only like 72 jiggies. And I have 37, that's why I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like, am I gonna finish this before like Banjo-Kazooie? I'm just like, I feel like I, I, this is not even gonna take 20 parts. Makes me wonder why Banjo-Kazooie took so long, but we'll get to that. Oh, this looks infinitely harder than any puzzle I've done before, but at least it gives me 100 seconds to get it done. I love how confident and brash I was, and now it's just like, oh god, like, why did I, why did I talk out of my ass like that? This is actually a little nerve-wracking. I wasn't expecting the puzzle to be this hard. Ah! Did it! You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge! Five! So now the Great One will show you the way. To think we only needed 30. No, we only needed 20, I think. And I have 37. So I can open up the next two worlds right now. I think. I think that's how that works. I don't think I'm going to be able to open up Cloud Coco Land. This opens up Pterodactyl Land! Oh my god, I thought we were going to Hellfire Peaks. Really, this is the next level, and then it's Hellfire Peaks. Hellfire Peaks is harder than this level? I don't remember that at all. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 6. I'm about it. Yeah, 28 and we have 37. Let's freaking go. Damn, this 
this one's really hard. Okay, sick. Wait, what? This isn't how fire peaks. Oh, no. Don't tell... No, don't tell me it's Grunty Industries. Oh, my God. No. No, I don't want to fucking do this level, man. I don't think I have to even do this level. I don't want to do this one. I really, like, I really genuinely do not want to do this level. It just, it sucks, you know? Like, maybe I'm hyping it up too much. I'm obviously going to fucking do it. But I wanted Hellfire Peaks, man. Like, I wanted to have fun. I don't want to do grunty industries. It's like such a headache, but whatever. Cause like we can't even get into this level like without the train and shit. So I gotta like figure that out. And then this puzzle is so fucking hard. Ah, all right. Jiggy Wiggy's challenge six. Just on top of my shit here in terms of Banjo Tooie. What the hell? Game's just breezing by, I'm telling you. Oh, oh I think I think it's gonna take like 20 parts. I'm like so deep in this let's play already, like I think I have 12 or 13 parts recorded already. I'm not even entirely sure. Damn, I'm so sad that it was ILO Hags. I thought ILO Hags was like later, later. I didn't realize it was like right now. That means we can't do that pig thing for so long, you know? Like, that's a really long jiggy. So I thought we go to Hellfire Peaks and we start on that and then Cloud Coco Land and then Grunty Industries was last. But this is saying that like we do Grunty Industries like first. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7. I mean, why not? 36, 37? I have one more jiggy necessary. Than necessary, so might as freaking well. <laughs> this is how fire peaks. Okay. Wow. This game is just pretty smart, huh? It's like, oh, what did I mean by that? It's like, uh, just give me a second, all right? Because you can't go to... You can't go to Cloud Coco Land yet. Like, you have to... You have to do these two levels. Like, I'm starting to notice a pattern. You have to do two levels before you do any, like, newer stuff. Because I think there's going to be, like, two more levels you have to do or some shit. Sorry, I have to kick it into high gear really quick. I, I'm doing this all with input lag. Holy crap. Jiggy Wee's Challenge 7. Now the Great One will show you the way. Okay, so... Holy crap. Technically, now that I've opened up Hellfire Peaks, I don't have to do Grunty Industries right now. Wait, but didn't I just open up, like, three levels? I mean, How Fire Peaks is right there. Why wouldn't they just make it How Fire Peaks? I feel like... I feel like you can't even get to Grunty Industries right now. Like, how do you even get there? Like, I, I would think you almost have to go to Hellfire Peaks. I don't even know how to get to Grunty Industries. Oh, 
All right. We opened up three levels. We opened up Terry Dacty Land. We opened up Grunty Industries, and we opened up. Uh, we just opened up Hellfire Peaks. Damn! I can't believe. Oh, okay. We need forty-five diggies. That's not even that bad. I just can't believe we needed. Damn, we just really needed 37 Jiggies to open up Hellfire Peaks. Like, that's honestly crazy. I thought Hellfire Peaks was next. It's like, I don't even remember, like, the order of, like, most of these levels. I don't even know how to get to most of these areas, to be perfectly honest. I feel like I only know how to get to this area as of the moment. Like, I know how to get to Hellfire Peaks. That's why I thought it was the next fucking level, right? Like, I don't know how to get to Grunty Industries or Cloud Coco Land or, like, Pterodacty Land. Like, I honestly, um... We're gonna have to do some exploring right quick. I think I think that's probably what the rest of this video is going to be because we're already 26 minutes into it. And, uh, I've made some progress. I should give this Globo to Mumbo you know, just in case, like, I end up giving it to someone else for some reason. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, you gotta push B. Welcome again, Bear and Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Though we appreciate the help, Mumbo, we don't need your ass right now. So let's get the hell out of here. I just wanted him to have the Globo, you know, for safety reasons. I guess, can we take the train out of here? Now that everything's, like, open, I would think the only way we can get around is via train. But I don't know if we have to open up those train stations. Which is why I'm like, how the hell do we... How do we get around? Isn't there, like... There's gotta be something. Alright, let's take the train. Yeah, the, the only one I've opened up is Glitter Gulch Mine. Okay, so there's not really much that we can do at the moment. Uh, I know that there's a pathway that we have to walk around to get to Grunty Industries. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Ilo Hags? I'm, I'm sure it will be much clearer over there because I know like there's not really much else we can do in this area. Hellfire Peaks is just all the way over there. So I think we have to go back to the Jinjo Village. And this will give us some clear direction as to where we're supposed to go. Actually, if you come on over here to the left, you'll notice a pretty cool Easter egg. Now that we have, like, this ability to, like, jump and, and like, hold on to ledges and stuff. So, Rareware never actually got the ability to make the stop and swap work on the Nintendo 64 for Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie because they originally wanted to have, like, this kind of connection between the two games, which would then make you able to kind of have, like, this fun little interactive world. So, the way that they did it is by putting a legitimate Banjo-Kazooie game pack in Banjo-Tooie, and all you have to do is hit it, and you'll get the ice key. And the ice key will make Kazooie turn into a dragon later on in the game, so that's pretty cool. Damn it. Oh, you know what? Speaking of the dragon, why don't we go back to, um... Why don't we go back to Witchy World? Oh, yeah! Let's go back to Witchy World. There's that rock that now that Kazooie has that ability to destroy things, we can use. Yes. That's where we have to go. Alright. Well, let's go. I believe there's a teleportation device that takes us there, right? Take us to the Pine Grove. I'm like, yes, that's right. I suppose another good tactic in this game is if you ever get lost, to make sure that you constantly follow the tracks. 
because I was getting a little lost there uh, near Hellfire Peaks and Jolly Rogers Lagoon. It was very, like, kind of off track. But this is where the legitimate tracks take you and go to. Oh, I just wanted to see what that sign said really quick. Flume. Flume of Doom. Out of order. And it's just like mumbo skulls. Whoops. I think that's cool. Oh, whoops. I, I should have pressed Z. So you see, there is now that Kazooie thing, which gives us the ability to destroy it. So let's go ahead and push Z and just have Kazooie go right into it. I love how she just has that ability. I forgot all about that. Wait, isn't there something like... Isn't there something like that too in... Uh, is it Gluter Gulch Mine? Or is it... Is it Maya Hem Temple? No, we have all the jiggies in Maya Hem Temple. Inside another digger tunnel. Alright, let's do it. Klungo battle. I can't believe it. I almost forgot all about this. Yeah, so if you ever get lost, just make sure you follow the tracks. That will make it easier to do this. Oh, no, not you again. <sighs> Mr. Sit Klungo, get more beatings. Well, we'll give you one. How about that? Freaking jerk. Gotta shut the door on us, huh? Messed up. <laughs> Chomp. Chomsky honk. Now Klungo squash. Damn. Screw you, Klungo. So, so, uh, damn, I wanted to do the rhyme from Ed, Ed and Eddie. I forgot it. The uh, Next, verse, same as the first, or something like that. So Klungo is no different to defeat no matter how many times you do it. You just gotta hit Klungo three times and run. I remember thinking as a kid, it's like, oh, uh, three is the magic number of Nintendo. It's like, actually, it's the magic number of Rareware. Boom. Destruction. But now, which is the way we came and which is the way that we have to go? I guess Klungo will tell us. Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. Can't be good for your health. Klungo, why not retire? No, Mistress needs me. Klungo return for more beatings. Then work a new potion. Is that where we're supposed to go? Didn't we come from the water? Yes, we came from the water. So, okay. Yes, this is the way we have to go. I knew Klungo would show us. So I'll just follow the trails. Because quite literally, this is going to take us to them. Which is the whole point of the game. Yes, and here we are in the Wastelands, which takes us to Pterodactyl Land. Oh, hey, there's a uh, Monty Molehill thing over here. Oh, I need 315, perfect. Clockwork Kazooie Eggs, the ultimate egg for you to hold. A clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. Ah, yes. So maybe actually we can get that 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 one jiggy now in the smuggler's cavern. But <laughs> oh, I think we have all the eggs now. There's some notes here we can grab. All right, which one's the fake one? Oh, shit, I knew it was that one. Excellent! I like the progress we have with the black Jinjos, because I'm not really trying too hard for the Jinjos, but it, it's kind of nice to know. I'm just so happy that this is, like, where we're actually supposed to go. Rare, rare... No, nah, imagine. So over here is my second favorite level in the game, is Cloud Coco Land. Where you have to take a bubble up to the freaking sky to do the level, so I actually can't wait to do that one. Um, so if you go up to the statue, it's actually going to tell you how many jiggies you need left to be able to enter into this world. And yeah, we only need eight. Go ahead and collect those notes. I truly love this level. I love the little nook that it puts you in, and then, like, you go up to that. That's gonna be a lot of fun to play. Ugh, that slow frame rate, though. It really does, like, kill me. Okay, so here we are in Pterodactyl Land. That's the next area in the game. And then up there, I believe, is how we get to Isle of Hags. I think. I mean, I don't... 
I don't know how else we would get up there. I mean, do we use the boots or something? Yeah, we, we use the spring boots, okay. And over there is the area we came. Okay, so that pretty much sums up this entire area. This world is open. In the next episode, we're going to be taking care of Pterodactyl Land, and I'm pretty excited for that, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you sat through this, have a good one. I'm done for today. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, look at that sad game over screen. Oh, well. Bye-bye.